Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today is Monday, May 1st. So happy May. Uh, May is my birth month. I was born on May 18th. We will actually be on our cruise during my birthday, which that's exciting. Like I've never done that. So that'll be good. Um, very much looking forward to the three weeks that I have off. Yeah, looking forward to that time. And yesterday was a good day. Grocery store, no problem. Um, stepdaughter came over for dinner. It's always good to see her once a week. And I did some stitching last night. So you guys haven't seen this project in a while because I have been doing whipping chats. But wait till you see. So almost done this page. Like I only have, and what I wound up doing as I got closer to like finishing it, I was just like doing all of one color. So that's what I did last night. So last night I worked on this while watching the reboot. So Dead Ringers is a movie from the 80s that was done it was a set of twins, but it was men and they were doctors. So the reboot stars Rachel Weiss as the twins and they are obstetricians. So, you know, birthing, all of that. I, I messaged Jill and Cindy and I was like, this is like a car accident. You can't look away. I said, I'm not going to be getting too much stitching done because at points, my mouth was hanging open and the needle was paused in the air, but I was able to do stitching. Um, but yeah, I watched like three, there's only six episodes. I think I'm on episode four. I watched like three episodes last night while I was stitching. So I stayed up so, sort of late, but yeah, almost done this page. I only have like this little fill in and then I'll be on the last page. It looks so good. Are you kidding me right now? So I cannot wait to do Phoenix. Now doing Phoenix though, will it's, this is going to be a bigger Q snap because Phoenix is 13 and a half by 13 and a half. So yes, I could do it in a hoop and hold it. You know what I mean? Just have the excess fabric, but I actually bought the three inch extenders for the, for an 11 by 11 Q snap to make it a 14 by 14. I'm going to see how that is. If it's too unwieldy, I may use a hoop. We'll see. Um, I personally do not like putting clamps or hoops over stitches. I just feel like it distorts them a little bit, but yeah. Um, I mean, I could even use my scroll frame, but I'm so used to my setup now with holding my Q snap in my hand. Um, but yes, is it not? Looking fantastic. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, looking so good. So been working on that. I did not do any more diamond painting past the video yesterday. I am so close to the finish on Queen of Hearts. I can taste it. Like I only have like the red in that little section. So I have made a final decision on my next project and it is going to be T-Rose Fairy. I'm um, very excited because I will get to put diamonds in my shadow box that's back there because I'm going to take all the excess diamonds from Queen of Hearts and put them in there and that will start that. I'll be able to kit up this, which when I kitted up Queen of Hearts, it took me like five minutes. Mm -hmm. It really is that quick with the credenza. Still loving the credenza and the desk. The best investment probably that I've made in my diamond painting journey because between those two things like seven hundred dollars because the desk was four and the credenza was like 350 so 750 um but yeah just completely worth it love 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 that desk just love it and i love this room so much i'm so thankful and grateful for bill and that he did all of this for me and yeah um, but so I got two things in the mail. So 
I love the mug mats that you can buy like quilted on Etsy and I have a couple like I have two there I have two here but I wanted another one on my desk so I bought this one oh! it was like nine bucks which I thought was really cheap um, this was the only one that she had um, but absolutely just if you put in Etsy mug mat tons of them will come up but oh my god is this one not so cute like are you kidding me right now so love having that there and I did my nails last night yeah I can tell when the color street needs to be changed first of all my nails like the growth but if I'm if I can easily chip it or peel it off they last about two and a half weeks for me now this darker color might not the other color did, but yeah, I love this color. It's like a bluey ombre, love it. Okay, the last thing. So remember I told you somebody on the Diamond Art Club group had used a binder and sheet protectors to put their sticker from Diamond Art Club in there. Brilliant idea. I got the binder and the sheet protectors in the mail yesterday. So this is the binder that I got. It's a five and a half by eight and a half. They had many different colors. I just like this one. And when you open it, it is a three ring binder. And what I like is it has a spot for a pen because then these are the sheet protectors. So like I said, five and a half by eight and a half. Now, when I went to put the sticker for T Rose Fairy in there, it fit lengthwise, no problem, but with it was like crinkled in there and I went, okay. So I had to trim it. Now I trimmed just around the outside. I have one of these Fiskars paper cutters. I got it at Michael's. We're actually scrapbooking. But um, I just trimmed around the outside and this is what it looks like in there. Oh my God, right? So I love this for so many reasons. I use the Gems Flow app to keep track of my diamond paintings too. But I love the fact that you can write the start date and the end date. And I can use this as a key because I think on T-Rose Fairy, I really think I'm going to put washi tape around the edge on that little sticky border that's all around the edge. Because what winds up happening is I wind up getting hair and dust and all kinds of stuff on that. So but when you put the washi tape around it, it covers part of the key. So I think I'm going to, I'll just have this next to me. Yeah, because it has all the, it has the key. Oh my God, the image, I can't. So, and it's funny because I, I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Doesn't it look so cute in there? Are you kidding? I will link the binder and the sheet protectors down below. I love that idea. I can't take credit for it. It was someone on the Diamond Art Club VIP group. But as far as framing, so I talked yesterday about Bill and I having a discussion about what to do with Rainbow Flower Power. And a couple of you mentioned, why don't you have Bill make you a frame? Duh. And so I say this to him last night, right? When we're sitting downstairs watching TV and he's like, I said that to you and you said, no, I'll just buy one. I'm like, I did? Why would I say that? Because he already puts the magnets in it. So I was like, okay, you're going to make my frames from now on. Because I said, well, how much would it cost you? He said, I could probably get the wood for just a couple dollars. You know, I was spending like $25 a frame. He's like, it's not going to cost that. Okay. Yeah. He's going to be making my frames from now on because I already use eyelids and the eyeglass thing. So I don't, it's not like I need the, um, the slit in it for the hanger and he's already adding more magnets. So why can't he just add a couple more? So all told, because the paint that I buy and the eyeglass chain, I probably still wind up spending like $25, but now I won't be spending like 40, I'll just be spending 25. He's always wanting stuff to do. Like he likes doing stuff like that for me. Yeah. So when he goes to do it, I'm going to try to film it so you guys can see how he does it. And 
how we, and when I go to put Queen of Hearts, when I finish, fully finish it, I will show you the process of putting, the, how I put the washi tape around the edge and then how we put it in the frame. I need Bill's help to put it in the frame and get it straight because he is holding the frame while I'm holding the diamond painting. I tried to do April Fairy by myself. It, I kept getting it crooked. It wouldn't go in there straight and I don't know why. It's easier with two people. So he will help me. He's already done the frame for Queen of Hearts and I know I showed that. Um, let me get it. I will show you again. I have it here in the closet. Now this is just the top part. So I wanted a red glitter because I already had, because Queen of Hearts, red, obviously. So this is the top of it. So you can see it's like red shimmery and then the chain has red in it. So they have so many different eyeglass chains on Amazon that you can buy. And so Bill had put the eyelets in there and then he also added, let me show you, he added, he adds more magnets in it. Now, when you do this, you always want to slide it. You never want to just pull it apart. But see how he added? Because it only had three magnets. So he added three more to make it, no, he added four more to make it seven. So yeah, he added more magnets in it. So it's going to look, Queen of Hearts is going to look so fantastic. And then I'm also around the outside going to use this washi tape. So that is almost like spot on exact. Yeah. Bill got me this as a gift, um, Scotch Expressions washi tape. I actually glue it because it does want to come up. So I take a glue stick, this one, which is purple and it dries clear and I glue it down and it stays. I mean, April Fairy has been up there for months. So, but yeah, so exciting to have another one done and then be able to start this beauty. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to doing the pinks and the roses. And this year at Christmas time, I already know I'm going to be doing poinsettia pixie for sure from um, Hannah Lynn that I have. So yeah, good things, good things coming down the pike. Okay, guys, I'm going to end here. I hope you're having a wonderful Monday and a good start to the week. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.